in our conference, uh, things like basketball tournament for men and women, golf and baseball playoff, tennis and track championships, all been funded by tev television revenue, uh, and we face serious setbacks. Indeed, monies received from television since 1977 in our league has enabled the Southwestern Athletic Conference, our conference, to wipe out a deficit of $100,000 operating debt and build a league surplus of over half a million dollars and operate at the level of other conferences outside. Television has been our lifeblood. It was public relation, it has been a public relation catalyst enabling us to showcase our program. It's been a boom for recruiting. You have to understand that when you don't have an opportunity to appear on television, you're not going to be able to recruit the same kind of, of football players or athletes that we have within the last decade. I go back to the 60s before we were permitted to be on television. Whenever we would contact the recruits, they wanted to know, will I be able to play on television coming to your university? But the NC2A uh, gave us help in this, that we were able to have regional television and we were able to have playoff games. The NC2A program was designed to promote the growth of college football through greater fan interest with protection to the greatest extent possible, the in-stadium attendance of each football playing member association. Gentlemen, I'd just like to say that uh, they have, it's a proposal now, what so-called windows, and that's from 12 to 3, from 3 to 7, and the, and the other networks were carried from seven on. Now, it's no protection. Since the NC2A has handled it in the last 30 years, we have doubled the attendance at the end of the end stadium crowd. So I think here that our games and a lot of the other games will suffer greatly. Our conference in the past couple of years have led most of the conferences in one AA uh, in attendance. Like many of my coaching colleagues in Division I, IIA, my feeling is one of frustration. So much is at stake and the educational development of so many young people is involved. Somehow, some way, something must be done to make certain that all of us share in the American dream. School like ours are not a part of the television package this year, yet we play an important role in molding student athletes to productive citizens. Our needs and aspirations are the same as the big school, and we try to graduate our people. We're real proud today that we stand shoulders above most of the school. We graduate more football players than most schools because we feel that we are dealing with America's most precious possession. And I'm really proud that uh, we do this in graduating our people. Uh, we know that in the CBS 18-game schedule contained no 1A and I can understand you have to get the most attractive team. The same can be said of ABC 20 cards and uh, ESPN cable Saturday night game. We are locked out with seemingly no place to turn. Gentlemen, I hope that the members of this committee will give every consideration to our problem and, and offer constructive solutions. I feel now that after these years and the great contribution that this organization has made to intercollegiate athletics, that the tail is about to wag the dog. Uh, it is uh, television now. It will be recruiting tomorrow. 
It will be academic standards after that. Then it will be buying athletes next until the whole college athletic structure tumbles down. I'm pleased to have this opportunity to appear before you. Thank you.